Okay, car assembly. We're going to make a new assembly, put the car together. So we're going to say new. It's going to be car. And you know what? I'm thinking my working directory is not right, so let me check that. And I'm just going to my create folder and right click the car folder. Yeah, it wasn't right, so that's good. I checked. Um, new. We're going to go car. And this is going to be an assembly. This is the final assembly of the car. Click OK. So, what's the main part of the car? Car body. So, we're going to say assemble the car body, or we said car, and open it up. And you're going to make this default. So, we're going to pull this menu down and select default, aligning it with XYZ axis on the draw on the on the uh, environment, and accept it. And um, you can actually put any part on you want right now, except for the hat, because the hat is on the person's head, and so the person has to be there to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and put our tricked out rims in. So if you did the tricked out rims, you can put those in. And that was actually um, an assembly. So we're assembling an assembly by adding an assembly to it. So this would be called a sub assembly. So click open, and there's your tricked out rims. Pretty basic. You're going to say, you know, the rounded part of the axle, so that cylinder, is going to touch the rounded part of our wheel well. Okay, and then you got some math to do. Well, essentially, the flat inside of the wheel is going to touch the flat outside of the car, but not completely. Okay, and I'm going to turn my planes off here to make clean it up a little bit, make it a little easier to see. But if you look at this, we've got a gap here, so we have a math problem. Well, how long was the axle originally? 63. How wide was the car? 58. Well, 63 minus 58 is 5, and we want an even gap, so divided by 2, and you should have 2.5. So while you're in this constraint here where that's touching, go ahead and go to distance and put in 2.5, and this should balance it out so both sides are the same. Accept it. And that's what your tricked out rims look like in your car. Like that. Pretty cool. All right, do it again. Assemble. Tricked out wheels. We're going to do the same thing, cylinder to cylinder, all right, and then come in here and say, all right, now we're going to go flat to flat, all right, and then the last thing is we want to center them, so we're going to come up here and uh, put in a distance of 2.5, there you go, all right, so wheels are on, give it a chance here to update it, so that's our tricked out rims. And uh, those of you who do the extra things in your car, you could have cool wheel wells around the wheels, you could have spoilers, hoods, all kinds of neat stuff. You know, that would be on here too. Um, let's go ahead and put the dovetail bar in now. So we're going to say assemble. And we've got to back up here and find our uh, dovetail bar. And this is a tricky part. So we got to think about what touches what. Well, the underside of this bar, this 29 and a half dimension, is actually going to touch up inside the car here, or that 31 dimension. And you see it, and it aligned it. Now, if it doesn't align it immediately, go up here and select coincident. Okay, and now that it's done, it's good, it's aligned, but it's flipped up the wrong way. We need it to flip down, so it's going to be underneath the car. Okay, next constraint the hole is going to align with this hole. And see, it's going to bring it inside of there. Again, if it doesn't move, coincident. And then the final constraint, it, it, it thinks it's fully constrained because we've, we've addressed basically X, Y, and Z on where the bar is positioned inside the car. So we have to force it into a third constraint. So we say placement, new constraint, and we're going to say the end of the bar is going to align with the front of the car. And when we do that, you should have the ability to rotate it around or go up to the pull down menu and say angle offset and now you're going to spin this thing around and, and you're going to spin it around until it's a number like 0, 360, 180, 90, whatever makes it look right and then accept it and now when you look at the bar and you look at it from the end of the car you can see that we have an equivalent gap on both sides it is centered and the bar is the same length as the car the rounds match the front of the car it's good. So we're going to put the passenger in now. So find your passenger. 
and we have uh, two things to do here rounded foot to rounded hole okay and it looks like it's done but it's not and then we're gonna say the bottom of the foot will align with the bottom of the car and you can see how that pops up and makes those even and accept that that's done alright now the hat so let's go ahead and uh, assemble the hat on the person and uh, this is just going to be one thing the un rounded underside of the cap to the rounded top of the head and then you have to come up here and, and center it and when you do that the hats on there correctly now if you want to rotate the hat around you can do that what you have to do is go into move and change translate to rotate and then you can start goofing around with this hat um, I don't care how you put it on here you can put it on here any way you want so uh, there you go. So he's kind of got his hat flipped up like that and accept it and save it. That's it.